All right, what's up, y'all? It's like fan here. Long time no see. Uh, not really. I mean, I I know I posted the mixtape, like, what three or four days ago, something like that. Um, but yo, I haven't recorded a video for almost two weeks. I've been super sick. Uh, I had a lot of them already pre-recorded, so I kind of spread them out. Uh, I had, that was that little like four or five day streak that I uploaded. But anyway, uh, we back on this thing now. I'm I'm going crazy tonight, recording probably like four four videos. Um, one being this video the dribble tutorial uh the other one being i already did it um the film study you know the stuff i always been doing for those who have been subbed this this whole year um i do this little film study thing where i'll break down every clip that i made from the mixtape and bring that to you in a in a slowed down video explaining my thought process slash like you know doing the dribbles also sorry for the poor commentary if i am uh, I'm still kind of sick, <laughs> so I'm gonna try. I'm trying my best to prevent coughing uh, mid-video. But anyway, let's get let's get straight to this stuff, bro. This is the dribble tutorial um, with all the new sigs. I got two people I want to give big shout-outs to. One being my dude Patrick. Uh, he's a longtime sub of mine. Um, I pinned his comment on my mixtape. Uh, but anyway, I told him to to you know credit himself on that. I don't think he ended up doing it though. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave his channel link and the dribble tutorial for that. He's a big stamp in uh, in a little bit like a little combo that um, I'll show you in a sec here. And it was in, all these moves that I'm going to show you are in the mixtape, except for the size up package being normal three. And this one I want to credit that boy because he uh, he hooked me up with this. Um, well, not me directly. I was going to ask him about it, but I decided to just check it out. Um, but no, I seen in one of his videos what it was and I just put it on. So shout out to him for that, um, bringing it to my attention. But anyway. Let's get straight to this, bro. Moving crossover, normal three. Uh, let's see. So this, what well, this is more for is between the legs, in my opinion. Um, some people like the normal two. I like the normal three. Uh, you'll see this between the legs animation right here. You can just spam that like crazy. Um, like I said, normal two has a between the legs as well. This one right there. But I like the normal three. I feel like it goes faster. You can just do more with it. Um, anyway, normal three behind the back. I've never changed this. Never will. This is easily what i prefer for the behind the back this is this is so easy to get past people with this is like my go-to move and i honestly behind the back always has been my go-to move so anyway uh moving spin normal six now i was rocking with i think it was four yeah it was definitely four this is like this is nice for like getting a lot of space off of that big move right there but yo this is so nasty for doing these combos with again shout out to patrick for this i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna link both that boy and his channel um but yo big shout out to patrick because he's a smaller youtuber um probably you know he doesn't get too much attention uh he does he does a lot of athletic mixtapes too so y'all gotta check his stuff out if, you, if you're a big fan of what i'm doing um anyway moving hezzy normal three step back simple as that just flick up on the stick you do that move um standing size up combos this is the rhythm dribble i believe yeah okay so this and takeover for this build is unreal like this is like the go-to actual like way to speed boost i actually really mess with it um so anyway that's all for that uh moving size up normal five i was playing around with this animation a little bit or not even this animation just this mechanic the moving size up combo um i really want to learn how to actually do this because i seen my boy zeke and uh and his cousin Devin um they they've been really working with this and I just like I've been trying to figure out if there's any move I can do in here that I can speed boost with on takeover I don't know we'll, we'll see I'm still playing around with that I haven't played 2k that much recently but I'm still bringing you guys some videos um I'll get some gameplays along the lines somewhere here too uh normal three sides of package like I said shout out to that boy for this I'm gonna show you guys all these combos real quick um other than that, I don't think I don't think you need to know any of this stuff down here. But you can here I'll, I'll let you see all this. Just so you can screenshot it if you really want to copy it. But like I said, I don't think you're not gonna need any of this right here. Um, jumper, if you're curious, Aldridge base, uh, Dirk and oh let's see, I, bro, it's been so long. I don't even I don't even know what the heck half my stuff is. Uh, let's see. So Aldridge, Dirk and Bird, 65, 35. Simple as that. All right. So <laughs> not that that matters that much. I'm not that great a shooter. Uh, but anyway. Long athlete layup. I've determined this is definitely the move. This is definitely the move. I tried Ben Simmons default big. That's, that's trash. Um, under basket athletic flushes. That's the only under basket package I have, and I'm actually messing with this right now, bro. Like, I I don't like 
getting put into slow animations if I'm not gonna get them. So the way I figured is, if I'm not gonna get an under basket animation, then I'm just not going to, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm starting to think that like the more, I used to think the more animations you had equipped, the more likely you would be getting a dunk. But really, all it does is give you slow animations that you don't want. And if you're gonna contact dunk somebody, these animations aren't gonna trigger anyway. It's gonna be the contact dunk. So what these are for is to quickly dunk the ball in moderation. Now, if I'm flicking down on the stick in park and I don't get a contact dunk, I'm still trying to go crazy. So <laughs> I have I have a lot of park dunks equipped. Uh, I took out like a couple, I think it was like two, maybe one, but I really just didn't like some of the animations. Um, but anyway, here are the ones that I can bring to you here. I've been playing around with it and I am a fan of all five of these. Um, haven't really seen an animation that I really dislike yet. Um, anyway, that's, that's all we needed to see for the animations, I'm pretty sure. Uh, aside from the fact that I would like to contact or like to promote the fact that with this build you get all the alley oop packages plus three contact dunks. You don't get this one because you have to be a guard for it, but anyway, let's back out here. Yo, and also, side side note as I'm loading into this Pro Arena to show you guys, I, yo, and shout out to Patrick for this too, bro, because um, I never really thought about how going into the Pro Am Arena makes it easier to show you guys some of these moves. Because in the my court, the half court, it's so small and congested, like, there's no room to do anything. So anyway, um, real quick, yo, I've been playing this, you know, uh, Smash Ultimate so much lately, like, while, I'm, while I've been sick too. And it, it hurts me that I, I haven't been making videos. Um, but that's mostly because my voice has been so bad to the point where I, I feel like I don't want to make videos coughing every five seconds, you know? So anyway, um, let me get on with my point before we, before it's, you know, I'm too busy, uh, doing some dribbles. Um, bro, the controller, I'm so used to, now I'm like so used to the A button being where this B button is right now. And it's killing me, bro. <laughs> like, I'm just not used to this stuff now. Uh, it's probably been like a week since I've like consistently played 2K and that's, I, I don't think I even took that big of a break in 2K18. But anyway, okay, so let's get into these moves. Um, bro, this size up package that that boy was talking about is unreal what you can do out of this. Like, especially as a big man. And it's the easiest thing to do. Literally, all you do, hold bolt, hold just the right trigger, have the ball in your, in like, okay, so go away from the ball hand with your, with your stick. So two to the left, right here, two to the right, two to the left, two to the right, two to the left. Just like that. So you're just flicking twice to the off ball hand. And you're gonna do this move. You can do it as much as you want. Um, it's got it's got some decent little speed boost out of it too. Uh, you just go to the off ball hand and then run in that direction. When you have takeover on, bro, that's gonna be unreal. I already know because with this rhythm dribble, it looks slow. It looks slow with this, but like with takeover on, it goes so quick, bro. It's it's crazy. Um, so yo, now we gotta show you some combos real quick. Um one thing before that, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go very basic and then very advanced. Um, the very basic moves we got the between the legs. You just run, you just run straight while sprinting and do a crossover. So just go to your off ball hand while sprinting, and it's just like this. Now you can combo this together and do let's say between the legs, between the legs behind the back. Hold up, my bad. The ball, the ball started in the wrong hand. Um, Go between the legs behind the back, just like that. Easy money. Uh, what the what the between the legs is for is to kind of confuse your defender or just play off your defender. So you know if they're if they're guarding one hand, you just switch to the other one and then and then you know do the behind the back the other way. Uh, what the purpose of that is? So check this out. Let's say the defender's on the left elbow. Boom! I can just behind the back straight past him like that and then just dunk on him like that. But now let's say he sees that coming and he plays to that left side a little more so he's a little bit past the left elbow so now what you're gonna want to do since he thinks you're gonna do this right here this behind the back what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this between the legs to set up for the other hand to get the ball on the behind the back so that's that's real nice and simple right there um another like I said try the rhythm dribble as well when you're in takeover I feel like this move right here and the rhythm dribble those are gonna be specifically for when you're in takeover then now here's where we get kind of advanced um now i'm still learning as well in this so like i said check out patrick's video he knows his stuff and he, he i'm not gonna say he does a great job at explaining it i'll just be completely honest but he definitely like he appears that he knows what he's doing for sure and if you can just learn from him that's big time so anyway 
basically, this is the type of stuff you're going to be learning how to do with him. Um, I, like I said, it's very hard to explain. I, I understand why he has a hard time explaining it too, because bro, it's so hard to explain how to do this stuff. Um, what what the major key right with this stuff is, and you're gonna have to be an advanced dribbler already to know how to do this type of stuff. Like you gotta you gotta have some experience playing with a playmaker or something of that nature, because this stuff go, does get complicated. Um, but anyway, you gotta have momentum going forward to do this little backward spin, right? And then out, off of that, you have to move, you have to keep moving your stick toward where you want the but the behind the back to go. So again, get your momentum, do the spin between the legs and then do the behind the back and keep your stick, left stick moving towards where you want to go, which is generally going to be the rim probably with this build. Um, so again, momentum, spin behind the back and then, or uh, between the legs, my bad, and then behind the back. Um, so again, you're gonna have to play with this a lot because it's so hard to explain how to do it. Um, but I'm just trying to give you guys a brief example, um, of how to, how exactly to do this. The between the legs is going to go, let me, let me try to explain this at, at my best ability. It's so hard, but <laughs> okay. So rhythm dribble, go toward, toward the base or toward like the hash mark. Right. And then you're going to spin towards the middle. So like move your left stick kind of back towards the middle of the court and then off of that you're gonna between the legs to the right so it's gonna yeah yeah so it's gonna be uh the between the legs is gonna end up going on the right stick the same direction that you're moving toward when you set up this uh between the or between not between the legs the rhythm dribble sorry again i apologize for the commentary i'm <laughs> i'm really like trying my best not to slur my words or anything but it's tough um so anyway these little combos right here bro it's unreal like i said i'm gonna direct you to my boy patrick with that um because bro he goes he goes nuts with his pure athletic you guys gotta check that out um but anyway other than that bro that's honestly about all i have for the video um again you're gonna have to check his out I, I, what i've what i've brought to you is the best animations what what I want you to do is check out Patrick's video because it, he definitely is more experienced with this than me. And I'm trying my best to like to learn it. But again, I haven't been on 2K in a while. Um, so anyway, that's about it for the video. Uh, in terms of the dunk packages, the reason I have these is because you can more preferably do the straight arm tomahawks or like the side arm, whatever it was. Um, hell, heck, it might even be cocked back. I don't know. Um, but you can do these tomahawks way easier. All you got to do is point to the left or the right and it and you choose like... Uh, which hand you're gonna dunk the ball with now when you do down on the stick it, it'll do a it'll do whatever the heck it wants honestly um honestly what i did this for and that's up on the stick right there um what i did this for is literally just so i could choose which hand to dunk with in in most situations um without it being too too complex uh but anyway it's off the vid hope you guys enjoyed if you did feel free to drop a like check out the mixtape for sure and then like i said I'll be leaving the, the links to both those guys' channels and Patrick's video specifically. So anyway, it's off the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Other than that, take it easy, man. Peace.